Standing on the Puppeteer Fault, I was out on the riverbank and the rivers behind me or off to the side around here and the fault has tracked across the river flats, across through here, all this damage and way out there towards those white coloured hills in the distance and then it cuts in front of the white coloured hills and it cuts everywhere you can see a failure in the land that is the fault and it trucks around the corner and the monstrous cow slips around there now I'm a scientist, I'm a geologist these sorts of things are absolutely fascinating and we can get really excited about looking at these sorts of features and, and this is a world class example of a big earthquake, it's amazing but you can never forget that earthquakes and humans uh, don't mix very well. And there is an enormous cost to the humans, the people, the landowners that are living here. If you just look in behind me, this might look like a really simple and inconsequential thing. But this is deer fencing and it's completely buggered. Um, now the amount of ground deformation and the reach of this fault means that all of the fences around these properties are strung taut, they're ripped apart, the posts are damaged. Even if the fence looks normal, it's taut. Everything has to be fixed. This is deer country, the deers are carving, everybody's, every animal's skittish. It's an enormous mess. Now I don't know how one man, actually a woman, fixes the farm up like this in good time. This is an incredible cost to the landowners.